In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Lineage OS 14 on your Pixel 5 or any other compatible Pixel phone. If you're looking for more customization, better performance, enhanced privacy, extended support for your device, or if you want to degoogle your phone, Lineage OS is the way to go. So let's dive into the step-by-step -step guide on how to make the switch. Before we begin, installing a custom ROM will wipe all the data on your device. So make sure to back up anything important. Alright, here's what you'll need. A USB-C cable to connect your Pixel to your computer. A computer with internet access. Your Pixel phone. The latest Lineage OS 14 build for your Pixel model. The appropriate G apps package if you want Google services. And a bit of patience. Now if you already have ADB tools installed on your system, you can skip these steps and proceed to the next section. But if you have not, then keep watching the next steps to get it on your system. Step 1. Install ADB and Fastboot. These are part of the Android SDK platform tools. Head over to the official Android developer website. I've put the link in the description below. Once you're on the page, download the platform tools package for your operating system. Windows, Mac OS or Linux. Step 2. Once the download is complete, locate the zip file in your downloads folder and extract it to a convenient location on your computer, like your drive C or a dedicated folder. Step 3. Setting up ADB and Fastboot. Now that we have the platform tools extracted, let's make sure your computer can use them. For Windows users, this involves adding the platform tools folder to your system's path environment variable. For macOS and Linux users, it's a bit simpler. For Windows, open the start menu, search for environment variables and select edit the system environment variables. In the system properties window, click on environment variables. In the environment variables window, find the path variable under system variables and click edit. Click new and paste the path to your platform tools folder. It should look something like this. Click OK on all windows to close them. Now for macOS and Linux, pause this video here and just follow these steps. Step 4. Install the OEM USB drivers. This step is crucial for your computer to properly recognize your Pixel device. If you're on Windows, download the Google USB driver from the Android developer website. Extract the downloaded file, then open Device Manager on your computer. Find your Pixel device under Other Devices or Portable Devices. Right-click on it, choose Update Driver, and browse to the folder where you extracted the USB driver. If you're on macOS or Linux, you generally don't need to install additional drivers. In step 5, enable developer options and USB debugging on your Pixel. Go to settings and then about phone and tap build number 7 times until you see a you are now a developer message. Go back to settings, find system, then developer options and enable OEM unlocking and the USB debugging. Step 6. Connect your Pixel to your computer using the USB-C cable. You might see a prompt on your phone asking to allow USB debugging. Make sure to allow it. And after that, head over to the official Lineage OS website and download the Lineage OS 14 build for your Pixel model. While you're at it, you'll also need to download the appropriate gapps package from opengaps.org or the Mind the gapps website if you require Google services. Save all these files to your computer. Once you have these files, move both of them into the Platform Tools folder of the ADB. To make things easier, rename these files to something simple that you can remember. This will save you from typing long names later on. Next, right-click inside the Platform Tools folder and select Open in Terminal. Type ADB Devices and press Enter. If you see a connected device listed, you're all set for the next steps. Type ADB, D Reboot Bootloader and hit Enter to boot your device into fast boot mode. Once there, confirm your phone is connected by typing fast boot devices. 
Now, let's unlock the bootloader. Type fastboot flashing unlock. Be careful with your typing to avoid errors like me. So let's retype it again. Your device might display on-screen prompts, so use the volume keys to select the option to unlock it. If it doesn't reboot automatically, do a manual reboot. Your device should now be unlocked and back in fastboot mode. In the terminal, type fastboot flash boot boot dot img. Then type fastboot flash dtbo dtbo dot img. And then type fastboot flash vendor underscore boot vendor underscore boot dot img. This installs the recovery on your device. To boot into it, use the volume keys and press the power button. Once the Lineage OS recovery loads, perform a factory reset. Then select Apply Update and choose Update from ADB. In the terminal, type ADBD sideload your zip file name. Zip and press Enter. The ROM will start flashing and this process should be completed within a few minutes. When you see Install completed with status 0, it means the procedure was successful. If you don't want G apps, go ahead and reboot into the system. If you do want G apps, reboot into recovery. Once rebooted, select Apply Update again and choose Apply from ADB. In the terminal, type ADB D sideload Google dot zip. Remember we renamed it earlier and press enter. The flashing process will start again and within a few minutes you'll be back to the recovery screen. When you see install completed with status 0, it's done. Finally, tap on reboot and then system. Your device will now boot into Lineage OS 14. The first boot might take a little longer than usual, so don't worry if it seems to take its time. And there you have it. Your Pixel is now running Lineage OS 14. Enjoy the new features and customization options. If you run into any issues or have questions, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to the channel for more tech tutorials and reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.